What? You're bored. Right. And what am I supposed to do about that? You sound real spoiled right now. Entertain me? What am I? Some kind of medieval jester who lives to appease you? You know, you know, maybe it'd suit you right to be bored for a while. Might help set your attitude straight, you know? <sighs> Fine. What do you want me to do? Play a game with you? What kind of game? I got my PC in my room. I could teach you one of my... Right. You don't like video games. Well, at least you don't bother me when I'm playing most of the time, so I guess that's fine. I don't need to convert you or anything. Anyways, what do you want to do? Because there's, like, a lot of options. Like, really a lot of options. Well, I mean, we've got some travel-sized games that I just stole from my parents and took with me when I moved in. We've got a deck of cards laying around somewhere, most likely. So we can play a ton of games with just that. We've also got pen and paper, and our phones, so we might be able to do something with that. Maybe we could even set up some form of... Is that an empty bottle? Nope. No way. Last time we played Truth or Dare, I ended up lying face down on the floor with a sore throat and no memory of the night before. I'm not interested in repeating the experience. Figure out something else, please. Nope. Puppy dog eyes won't convince me of anything. Not this time. You're just going to have to amuse yourself. Or choose a different game. Okay, if we set up some rules first, then I might be interested. Well, first of all, no alcohol dares. I don't want a dare that's like chug three beers or anything involving vodka. Well, call me boring all you like, but I'm actually intending on remembering tonight rather than blacking it all out in my memory. I don't know about you, but I prefer knowing what I did quite a lot over not remembering what I did. Also, second rule, no stripping dares. We're staying in our clothes. The both of us. Spoil, sport? What do you mean? Was your plan to... Wait, no, don't tell me. Just... Nothing involving taking off clothes. And in fact, how about no dares that can't be done right here, right now? Let's say that all the requirements have to be in our flat. If the requirements aren't there, the dare can be changed to something else. I don't know. But if you, like ask me to bake a cake and we don't have eggs, then I'm not saying I lose just because we don't have something needed for the dare. Hmm. I think that's about it. Well, no. I haven't made any rules about truth. Simple thing about that. A truth can't ruin your life or evening. Well, at worst you lose, and at best you just give the truth. If it's something that would ruin your life, just lose the game. I am very practical, yes. Much more practical than you with your where are the cups while holding a cup in your hand thought processes. Honestly, the fact that you even got accepted for this university baffles me sometimes. Joking, joking, always joking. I'm not that mean, remember? Anyways, go ahead and spin the bottle already. 
You had to leave in an hour, right? Wait, you're doing it here? What? Oh, your turn. You're playing this unfair, I see. Trying to shut me up with a bottle spin. Very well. Go ahead. Ask. Truth. Yes, I have had pets. How many is a second question? Well, you should have known from the beginning, playing fair with me is the only way to play. Cheaters get me really, really amped up. Because, oh, how much I love to beat cheaters by just playing the game very well. Come on, then. Spin it again. Test your luck. We'll see who gets to refuse first. We're starting easy, right? No big questions or dares in the first few rounds. Just checking. Anyways, truth or dare? Truth it is. You told me you were going to a party with your friends. Well, really, you're holding it here. I want to know what time the party starts. Right, so I'm guessing the first few to arrive are just there to help you set up, right? Cool, cool, cool. Uh, that was two questions you just answered, by the way. Well, I'm not forcing you to do anything. You voluntarily answered that one, which is only fair, since you've been lying to me. Anyways, spin it again. Ooh, truth or dare. All right, then. I dare you to go to the kitchen, get me something to drink, and bring it back to me. Look, I'm thirsty, and you agreed to start simple. So unless you find it hugely insulting and derogatory enough to lose, water or cola, please. See? That wasn't too hard. Spin again. Truth. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Nowhere did we agree that you had to alternate what you choose. In fact, doesn't that invalidate the whole game? I don't know. The game is called Truth or Dare, not Truth Then Dare, right? Unless I missed something very important, I don't think all that much has changed, so... Truth. Hit me. Not physically, idiot. Ask me a question. Hmm. Yes. I do have more siblings than you know of, but I won't tell you more about them until it's your turn again. I'll spin this time. Truth or dare? Alright. You raised us up to family level, so let's see. Hmm. What's the dumbest thing you've ever seen one of your family members do? I gotta admit, I thought it would be funny stupid. That's just stupid stupid. Like, dangerous stupid. And that's how my friends gave me the nickname White Shower. And none of that was exaggerated, all of that actually happened. You should be glad I gave you the short version. I could have gone into much more excruciating detail, and none of it would have made me look any better. Oh, I have a very good memory, especially when it comes down to embarrassing things, for some reason. Anyways, more spinning. We're like 40 minutes in, and we don't have a winner yet. 
It's a two-player game. How hard can I be to ask something I don't want to answer or do? Hit me with a harder question. Truth. Yes, I have a crush on someone. No, that'd be a different question. Next turn, maybe. If I let you. How about you? Do you have a crush? Good to know. Very good to know. Let's see. Oh, we're going to do a dare. I know what you're going to ask if I say truth. I'm not interested in losing just yet. So come on, hit me with it. What are you going to dare me to do? Let you sit in my lap for the rest of the game. Well then, how will we know who the bottle spins to? Hmm. Alright then. Away from us, it's you. Towards us, it's me. Come on then. Come here. Sit in my lap. Let's see how far you're going to try and take this. Well, if you want to know what I mean, obviously that's another question you'll need to use a turn on. <laughs> okay, pun not intentional. Truth or dare? You know, we might as well take turns. We've had like 14 turns in a row where it's you, me, you, me, you, me. Yeah, let's ditch the bottle. Anyways, a dare. Hmm. I guess I dare you to tell me who you have a crush on isn't allowed, is it? Hey, hey, hey. Calm down. I'm just checking. Uh, hmm. How about this? I dare you to look me in the eyes for a minute straight while we play. Staring contest style, you know. No looking away. But blinking is allowed. Your turn. I didn't say you couldn't talk while we were looking at each other's eyes. Dare, by the way. Hmm. I don't think that one's allowed either. Well, I dare you to choose truth next time isn't all that fair if I can't dare you to tell me something, now is it? Hmm. Wrap my arms around you. What will people say if someone walks in right now? I bet they'd think we were doing something much less prim and proper than truth or dare. Oh, they might take all sorts of conclusions from this. You don't know what kind of things they might suspect. But I suppose I'll comply. What's a hug between roommates, right? Hmm. You're still looking into my eyes. And don't think I can't see that blush. I think we're close to finishing this game. What do you think? Well, I didn't say I knew who was going to win. Truth or dare? Still not going to choose truth, hmm. All right, then. Let's get a little more intimate, shall we? I dare you to lean in as close as you can without our noses touching and look me in the eyes until one of us loses. Oh, you don't want to? Are you going to let me win on something so small? 
Will it look like we're kissing to an outsider? Hmm. How evil am I for asking that of you? Well, come on then. Are you really going to lose on this? I knew you could do it. Come real close. Just lower your voice a bit, so we're not shouting at each other from this close, okay? Now it's your turn again. I choose dare. Are you having a hard time thinking? Is it maybe because we're so close? Is that distracting to you? You're going to have to come up with something for me to do, you know. You can't just stare at me and stutter forever. Just one little thing. A single thought. What do you want me to do? Hmm. We don't have a maximum timer before you have to say something, do we? It's okay. Take your time. Collect your thoughts. But don't shy away now. Failing a dare is also going to make you lose. Oh, you figured out what you want me to do? Come on then. Tell me. Kiss you. Oh, gladly. Oh, don't whine. It might have not been a long kiss, but it's still a kiss, you know. You want more? Well then, you'll just have to tell me. Truth or dare. Finally, out with it, then. My truth question is as simple as it is predictable. Who do you have a crush on? I knew it. Well, you'll be happy to know that... Oh, wait. The game isn't over yet. It's your turn. Dare. Nope. Not gonna make it that easy for you. If you want to know who I have a crush on, you'll have to drag it out of me. Kiss you again for longer. Your wish is my command. Hmm. Can do. My turn again. Truth or dare. Oh, I am definitely using this to torture you. This doesn't stop until one of us wins, you cheater. Oh, you cheated at the start, and I'm not letting go of that. I'll hold a grudge to my grave if I have to. You give up. So, I win then? I want to hear you say it. Out loud. A few simple words. You win. Not that hard, hmm? There you go. 
good girl. Now, when it comes to who I have my crush on. Nothing. We're not doing anything. You two go prepare your party. I'll, uh, I'll go to my room. <laughs>